Hello, this is Kevin Partner from makingyourowncandles.co.uk where you'll find the UK's widest range of candle making kits and equipment. So what is CLP? Well, CLP stands for Classification, Labelling and Packaging. It's a regulation um, put together by the European Union whose aim is to bring packaging in Europe in line with the rest of the world. It does this by introducing a standardised set of warning symbols. What this does is it means that um, wherever you are in the world, or wherever you've bought your product, the uh, warning symbols on the side of the packaging will be the same. At least that's the idea. The CLP regulations have actually been uh, in force for quite some time but they only became obligatory in the UK in June of 2015. Trading standards are responsible for enforcement of uh, CLP but as they're new regulations um, we don't yet know exactly how they intend to approach the matter. Best plan at the moment is stick to them as strictly as humanly possible that way you're on the safe side. So do the regulations apply to you? Well, in short, if you sell candles, whether that's for profit or not, the regulations do apply to you. If you make candles for a hobby, uh, in other words, for personal use or to give us gifts, we don't think the regulations apply in your case. Assuming they do apply to you, in other words, that you are selling, what's the practical implication? Well, as the name suggests, your main responsibility is to make sure that your labelling is compliant. This ensures that the people using your candles can use them safely and it keeps you on the right side of the new regulations. If you supply to other businesses such as shops or hotels, you may need also to supply a safety data sheet, but that is a different topic. Let's just reiterate, you do not need to supply a safety data sheet to the general public. The reason for that is that the information they need to handle your product is on the label already. At this point in the video you have a couple of choices. If you just want to see how we at Making Your Own Candles can help you comply with minimum effort, then wind forward towards the end of the video where we'll give you some more information. However, if you want to find out more about CLP in a lot more depth, keep watching. The first thing to bear in mind with um, candles and candle making is that the only ingredient in most candles considered hazardous according to CLP is the fragrance. This is because candle making fragrances are concentrated substances that must be handled carefully. Now because candles are considered to be mixtures you must include any of the ingredients that would be considered hazardous at the concentrations you use them in the final candle. Now that was a bit of a mouthful. Let's look at an example. For most of our fragrances we recommend using 10 mils of the fragrance for every 100 grams of wax. That means that fragrance will make up no more than 10% of the final candle. For most hazardous ingredients, 1% concentration in the final product means you have to include it on the label. Some of the more serious hazards have a 0.1% threshold. In other words, any hazardous ingredient that makes up more than 10% of the candle fragrance must be listed. That figures 1% for the more serious hazards. You can get this information from a safety data sheet which can be obtained by the manufacturer or supplier of your candle making fragrance. The safety data sheet contains all the information you need to create a label for your final candle. Remember though this is a data sheet for the fragrance not the candle. All you have to do is list any hazardous substance on the safety data sheet that will be above the threshold in the final candle. In other words in most cases that means hazardous substances that make up 10% or more of the fragrance. As I said before, unless you sell your candles to other businesses, you don't need to create a safety data sheet for your finished candle. 
In practice, interpreting a safety data sheet so that you can work out what goes on the label is hard work, unless you buy expensive software. Not only do you have to be a bit of a chemist, a good researcher and, frankly, have the patience of a saint, you must also understand the full implications of the CLP regulations and there are 1,355 pages of them. It can be done, but don't underestimate the work required. What you need to put on the label and the format it takes is governed by the CLP and other regulations. For candles, you should use a label that is at least 52 millimeters by 74 millimeters, that's roughly two inches by three inches, where at all possible. So let's take a look at what this means in practice. Let's take a look at this first element, the pictogram. There are nine pictograms in total, but only two of them appear regularly on candle labels, and those are the two shown here. The first on the left is the warning exclamation mark. That'll appear on any candle where there's a hazardous ingredient. On the right is the hazardous to the environment symbol, and that's also very common. Before you worry too much about the fact that the pictogram shows a picture of a dead fish next to a dead tree, it's worth bearing in mind that the same warning and pictogram appears on washing up liquid. To comply with the regulations, these pictograms must be at least one centimetre on each side in size. Any label for a candle that contains hazardous ingredients must also contain a signal word. There are two signal words available. Danger is used if the product represents a major hazard, but we've yet to meet a candle that falls into this category. The other signal word is warning, and this appears on the vast majority of candle labels. Your label must also include all the appropriate hazard statements. These have specific wording which you must reproduce exactly on your label. You can work out which hazard statements you need to include from the safety data sheet of the fragrance. Your label should list any allergens that appear in the final candle above the concentration threshold. This is usually 1%. percent you would be amazed at the number of allergens some fragrances contain. There's also a range of standard precautionary statements to both prevent problems and deal with them afterwards. As with the hazard statements, you must reproduce these exactly using the official wording. Candle labels should also include information to help customers understand how to safely use the candle. The wording for this information is covered under another regulation, EN 15494. This information can either be written or shown as icons, but we prefer the written versions because we think they're clearer and easier to understand, so we use them on all our labels. You also need to include the full product name and, if necessary, to identify it a barcode or similar. For example, you might have a big range or multiple versions of the same product. The regulations also state that you must supply full contact details for yourself as the supplier. Finally, you must also include the product's total weight. I'm sure having seen our guide to the riveting world of EU regulations, you just can't wait to break out your labelling software, download some safety data sheets and just crack on having the time of your life compiling these labels. But then, assuming you actually have a life, as well as a business to run of course, let's look at how we can help. Let's begin with our pre-made labels. We've made labels for you to use on candles made using our fragrances. You can use them as long as you don't include more than 10 millilitres of scent per 100 grams. To be honest, you shouldn't do that anyway, as that's the maximum that the wax can carry. You can choose from round labels or luggage tag labels. We'll send them for you to add your company details and product weight by hand. Or we can customise those labels with your details for a small fee. We'll then keep them on file for you to order reprints at the standard price in future. Alternatively, we're happy to send you a formatted page of labels in PDF format to print on your own printer. We recommend using a laser printer to print your labels if you plan to do it yourself, as inkjet ink is water soluble so a single drop of water will ruin the label. If you buy any of our fragrances, you can easily get labels without any hassle. Order your labels, create your candles, stick the labels on and sell them. 
And that's it for our introduction to CLP for Candlemakers. If you have any questions, please do get in touch. Otherwise, happy candlemaking.